Okay, let's see if I can hear me and stuff. So, um, a project for copy 160, section 2. A little bit of pseudo, not pseudo code, regular code. Let's build and run this thing. There we go. Okay. Let's do this. That makes things easier for me. Alright. There we go. Bobby in his 3x3 three three backyard. Okay. So we have two options. Let's go with the most obvious one. Well, that ended the program as expected. That very obvious, I hope. <laughs> Let's try that again now. Okay, so we start. Let's type in start. We're going to do something different here. We're going to capitalize the last two letters just to demonstrate that the almost everything you input is uh, not case sensitive. Alright, and so we start off with a battle sequence. Uh, sometimes that happens when you're playing the game. When you start up the game because um, the game always checks for a battle sequence before it fully loads the room, um, it's entirely possible that the game will load up a, a battle first. Okay, so right now we're battling a praying mantis. So first let's type in attack, because that's one of our two, two little things, attack and items. So type in attack, now we get a list of generic and special. Let's type in special. See, there it says we attacked with special. Now, that's going to decrement, decrement the praying mantis' health by two points. And the praying mantis attacked us and gave us two damage. So, as you can see, our health, which is right here, decreased by two. All right, let's attack again. This time, let's just go generic. Oh, oh! I spelled that wrong. Hold on. Attack generic. There we go. So now Bobby attacked with generic, which only deals one bit of health for the praying mantis. As you see here, so that's gonna decrement the praying mantis's health, and the praying mantis will uh, deal two damage again. So we've exhausted all the attack moves right now. So let's type in items. We have two items. We have magic and heal. So let's type in magic. A magical thing happened. Uh, so magic, what that does is it deals three damage to the enemy. Um, the enemy still dealt two damage. So now we'll type in items again. And we'll type in heal. What that does, it will increase the player's health by three points. Although the enemy will still attack. So it didn't do too much. Alright, so let's just get through the rest of this battle. Um, I generally do think uh, I will try to implement more in the future. Because I actually want to work on this some more, uh, like as my own side project. Beyond the classroom, which is, I suppose, is one of the things that the class is teaching me. Okay, so, as you can see, it says, Bobby won the battle. Um, it, it displays the current health, which is 5. And that's our level. Um, see, why the level is important is because that determines what kind of enemy we would fight um because the enemies is which enemy is chosen is uh randomly chosen but we have to and i limited the the band width of which enemies could be chosen to like a limit of around four enemies that can be chosen per level so, 
you know, and as you go on, your level will increase, and so, uh, your, like, your time, not your time, your enemies that you would start fighting would start to change, change. Alright. So now it says we're at map location one one. You see we have one two three four five options. So let's go with the most obvious one, which is exit, and that exits the program. And now I have to restart it again. Which is it? There we go. Run again. There we go. Start up again. And we have to just do a little bit. Oh, actually, right now is the perfect time to show you what happens when we lose a battle. If there are a couple of enemies on here that you actually can lose to, if you just type in generic every time. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of tough time. But we will lose all our health. There. Okay. That's so all we got attacked with generic. Uh, the cat did not die, but we did die because, see, our health was two here, and then we lost two health. So Bobby Dunn got dead now. So now we have two options. Um, we can continue playing the game, or we can stop playing the game. So let's go with the most obvious choice, which is no, and then that exits the program. Let's try running that again. Alright. Okay, so now I'll be able to display the map a little bit better. What it is? It's a 3x3 grid uh, created by a two dimensional array. So right now we're at the XY location 1 1. If you type up, we go to map location 1 2. Let's type. Oh, Okay, um, let's see what happens when we try to go out of bounds. Um, if we try to go left, that will make the x value a 0, which is an invalid location on the map. Let's type left. It says, ow, that was a wall. Oh. So I was able to basically limit how the player can... Sorry, I can limit the locations where the player can go, uh, that's just based upon uh, how I structured how the mapping system works, which is the, it's created mainly with a, it's created basically with a numerical value. Um, in binary uh, notation though, it has a significant meaning. Like the the up direction is like denoted by the first bit in a binary notation. Also, the, each map location is denoted by a four bit number, four binary bit number. So, like the first number would denote whether you can go up or not. If it's a one, then yes, you can go up. If it's zero, you can't go up. And for the second bit place. If it's a one, you can go right. If it's not, you can't. Um, for the third bit location, if it's on, you can go down. If it's off, you can't. And for the fourth bit, if it's on, you can go left. If not, you can't. So, so now we're going to go right. And now we're in the exact center of the grid. And as you can see, nothing's really happening. Again, the... The enemies are randomly generated upon entering a room, so sometimes it just takes a little while until you can get an enemy to spawn. So let's just wander around some more. Let's try going left. Let's go up. Let's try going up again. We hit a wall because that's the top of the map. Let's go right. All right, and we just since we just entered this room, we're about to battle an enemy. Uh, I don't want to spend too much time with this, so I'm just gonna use magic because that's the most powerful weapon. 
Magic. Okay. And there we go. We we defeated the Roach. And then, you know, this just uh keeps on going. Now I'm just gonna. The last thing I'm gonna do is just uh show what happens when I get a game over, but I print. I want to do yes. So I'm just gonna spam up a bunch. Eventually. There it goes. Okay, we have a enemy now. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. I just want to check something real quickly. Um. Yeah, roach attacks are two damage. <laughs> Sorry, this is embarrassing. You get a little bit of a view of what stuff is available in here. I believe we can be able to be defeated by Roach. Yeah, let me try. Just so we're safe. Generic attack. Generic attack. Generic attack. And generic attack. Generic, let's see. There, okay, we died. So, let's just say that we do want to continue. And I believe this is the last thing that I have to really show in the game. So, if we type yes, then it just resets us all the way back to the map location, uh, the default map location, which is 1 1. And it reset our health to 10. So, that's my project. Um, I hope to expand it on the future so that I could add more, more sorts of flexibility, such as maybe, yeah, uh, properly implement implementing like a full level up system, where like the player actually levels up. Um, because right now, um, that's actually it's static right now, but it can be defined, and it's to, to be defined and. Uh, right over here. Um, the stats here is, I believe, defense, offense, stamina, something like that. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, I just all it really involve is just altering these values after each battle and manipulate them, and then I'll just be able to change them. So um, that's. Yep. Um. Yeah, in the future maybe I'll be able to have like a bigger map or something. Be able to make it so that either enemies drop items or individual map tiles contain specific items, and maybe be able to like link. Like one specific kind of enemy to a certain map tile or something. It's just an idea. But yeah, that's my project. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Maybe or not. I don't know.